नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इलीगल देसी एंड टुडे वील बी रिव्यूइंग असैसन स्क्रीड मिराज सो लेट्स गेट इन टू इट In the ever evolving world of gaming, few franchises have undergone as many transformations as Assassin's Creed. It all began over a decade ago with the release of the first Assassin's Creed game, a title that introduced us to a unique blend of stealth and action. Over time, the series has veered into different directions, trading its stealth roots for something grander and flashier. But now, with the arrival of Assassin's Creed Mirage, it appears that Ubisoft is striving to recapture the spirit of the original games. Mirage introduces us to Basim ibn Ishaq, a street thief whose life resembles Aladdin, but instead of finding a princess and a genie, he is thrust into the world of assassins and templars. You will remember him as being one of the end game bosses Eivor had to defeat in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. While the game's plot is relatively simple and doesn't deliver a particularly engaging narrative, it manages to maintain a straightforward and fast-paced quest progression. Basim's origin story, though not the most captivating, is far shorter and more linear than what we've seen in recent entry, and this streamlined approach works to the game's advantage. The supporting cast, with the exception of Basim's mentor Roshan, doesn't leave a lasting impression. This simplistic plot but well paced makes it accessible for those who prefer a less convoluted narrative. One of Mirage's standout features is its visually stunning depiction of 9th century Baghdad and its surroundings. The different districts from bustling city centers to dusty slums feel remarkably busy and lived in, reminiscent of the series' earlier titles like Unity and Syndicate. While they may not be singular breathtaking monuments, the overall beauty of the golden dunes and oases is well worth admiring. Ubisoft's decision to focus on a smaller region has allowed for a more detailed and historically immersive world. In terms of graphics, Assassin's Creed Mirage delivers a visually pleasing experience that captures the essence of its historical setting. The most significant departure from the recent AC titles is the return to a strong emphasis on stealth. Mirage does away with the XP and leveling system, making every enemy susceptible to your hidden blade. Stealth becomes your primary weapon and most areas provide multiple ways to remain concealed. The game introduces strongholds with staggered patrols and overlapping sight lines which add depth to the stealth experience. Mirage will challenge players to think strategically, relying on shadows, timing, and the environment to achieve their objectives. This renewed focus on stealth and exploration is a refreshing departure from the combat-focused approach of previous entries. The game will equip you with a variety of tools such as smoke bombs, traps, and sleep blow darts that enhance both combat and stealth. Upgraded tools offer unique abilities such as dissolving bodies with the throwing knives or performing multi-target kills with the assassin's focus. In addition are the Khimda tokens, which can help you gain favor from the people in Baghdad. So if you pay mercenaries with a power token, they'll engage the guard leaving you with an opportunity to sneak in. And similarly, merchant tokens can reduce the prices of goods or open up certain chests. You do get your own eagle, Enkidu, as well, but unlike past companions, Enkidu gets occasionally challenged with a marksman preventing a full survey of the area. The game even brings back the notoriety system, when the people of Baghdad might attract guards' attention by shouting and screaming until you either rip off your posters or pay off a Munadi with a power token to get rid of your notoriety altogether. It's clear that in spite of being an assassin, Basim is still a thief as pickpocket is a major part of the game. We can pick pockets for dirhams, trinkets and tokens, which makes no sense but it's still there. Combat in Mirage is noticeably slower and more deliberate than Assassin's Creed other games, emphasizing counters and dodging. While there are relatively few enemy types, their variations based on weaponry keeps the combat engaging. Mirage's combat is slower but is more tactical, doing away with the button mashing that you did in previous games. 
to emphasize the point home instead of getting the usual shields swords bow and arrow all you get is one sword and one dagger which you can use for the entirety of the game with minor upgrades as it's your hidden blade that is the star of this game Mirage's ability tree though compact has a significant impact on gameplay. It features 3 branches focused on killing, scouting and gadgets, offering 7 skills with substantial effect. The ability to respec these points at any time allows for experimentation and customization of your playstyle. Assassin's Creed Mirage's gameplay is a return to the series root with a focus on stealth and strategy rather than brute force. Despite its strength, Mirage does suffer from some technical issues. The inability to manually save during missions can be frustrating, especially when the game crashes, leading to a potential progress loss. Dungeon design also leaves something to be desired, with some areas lacking rewarding shortcuts and presenting navigation challenges. NPC AI can be inconsistent with guards sometimes reacting unpredictably to the player's actions. Mirage offers a refreshing return to the franchise's stealthy origins. While it may not boast a groundbreaking plot or breathtaking graphics, it excels in its commitment to briskly paced missions and stealth-heavy exploration. The simplified plot and forgettable characters are offset by the game's straightforwardness and quest progression. The depiction of 9th century Baghdad and its immersive world design are highlights in terms of graphics. The gameplay shines with a renewed emphasis on stealth, a variety of tools and strategic combat. Mirage is recommended for only those who yearn for the series' earlier stealth-focused entries. It is not offer a wow moment but it captures the essence of the earlier industry defining games. With that being said, whether you should buy Mirage now or wait for sale depends on your love for stealth and nostalgia for the series root. For me personally, it was a day one buy, but if you are a casual gamer, I would recommend you wait this one out for a sale. I also want to add in that do not buy the deluxe edition as the 40 thieves quest is not worth paying the extra amount. That's going to do it for this video. If you like this video then hit the like and subscribe button. It helps out this channel more than you know. Do share your feedback down in the comments below and I will see you in the next one.